The Bible teaches that marriage is to be a permanent relationship of one man and one woman freely and totally committed to each other as companions for life. Our Lord declared that man shall leave his father and mother and shall unite with his wife in the building of a home and the two shall become one flesh. Who gives the bride to be married? Her daddy and me. <laughs> the home is built upon love with virtue is best portrayed in the 13th chapter of Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. It says, Love is patient, love is kind, love is not jealous or boastful, is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Faith, hope, love abide. These three, but the greatest of this, is love. Love one another. <coughs> Marriage is a companionship which involves mutual commitment and relationship. You will share alike the responsibilities and joys of life with when companions there are sorrows they share a sorrow the sorrow is halved and when the and when they show, share joy <laughs> when they share joy joy is double Isn't that great I mean, that's, that's a great thing let me skip on over here. Okay. I'm going to skip over here to a little prayer. Okay. okay. O Lord of life and love, bestow thy grace upon this marriage and seal this commitment of thy child with thy love. Thou hast brought them together by thy divine providence. Sanctify them by thy spirit spirit that they may give themselves fully one to another and to thee give them strength and patience to live their lives in a manner that will mutually bless themselves and honor thy holy name through jesus christ our lord amen amen that's you can watch your camera if you want to. They're not doing that. Are they doing it? You're going to do it? Okay. You can do, you can do what you want to do. So. Um, you have to follow me on the instructions on how to do this. This is <laughs> me and my family. The light. That's her and her family. These lights separates two different families, okay? And whenever you take this right here and you, you unite it. You can't do it. You blow it out, and then y'all both light. <laughs> you blow it out, and then y'all both light that together. Okay, we're gonna blow it out with a lighter. Don't burn it in my hands. I can't see. Okay, there it is. There it is. <laughs> this represents y'all as one. You no longer have two different families. You are one family together. Okay. Let them say their vows. Okay, did y'all want to say anything to one another? Or do you want to repeat after dad? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to ask you this question. Dalton, will you take Grace to be your wife? Will you commit yourself to her happiness and her self-fulfillment as a person and will and take her useful... Excuse me. Here, get to the light. Okay. 
usefulness in God's kingdom, and will you for prom moment promise to love, honor, trust, and serve her in sickness and health and adversity and prosperity, and to be true and loyal to her so long as you both may live? Yes, I do. Grace, will you take Dalton to be your husband? Will you commit yourself to his happiness and his self-fulfillment as a person? and to his usefulness in God's kingdom. And do you promise to love, honor, trust, and serve him in sicknesses and health, in adversity and prosperity, and to be true and loyal to him so long as you both may live? I do. The rings? Well, I've already got mine on. So okay, that's all right. <laughs> it's like this. Okay. Dalton, you should repeat after me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, Dalton. <laughs> repeat after him. I, Dalton. Give you this ring. Give you this ring. Pledge my life. Rest of my life. And I love you. Surely. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Grace, repeat after me. I grace. I grace. Give you this ring. Give you this ring. To place my love. Place my love. And my life to you. My life to you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. <coughs> the Son. The Son. And the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to play another song right now. Okay. I'm gonna re I'm gonna read you out, out of. Ruth one sixteen. Okay. It says you can repeat this one another if you want to. Entreat entreat me not to leave you or to return from following you. And where you go, I will go. And where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people should be my people, and your God my God. Mm. Okay, this is a door to end. To say I've made these commitments before God in this assembly, these witnesses here, by the authority of God and the laws of this state, I declare that Grace and Dalton are husband and wife. <laughs> <laughs> <You> may. <laughs> Oh, Wait, hold on, he's saying, hold on. <laughs> Since you have made these vows, this is the last part, hold on. <laughs> Since you made these vows by the authority of the state and the minister, and as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pr pronounce you husband and wife, whom God had joined together, that no man put asunder. You may kiss your wife. Kiss her. Go, go lay her down and kiss her. No. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. 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 Lay her down and kiss her. <laughs> 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 Now all I gotta do is sign you a little paper and <laughs> I mean, 